which, uh, as I mentioned in my channel update, I want to start painting some uh, game miniatures. I don't really want to play the games or anything like that. I just like the miniatures. I like the sculpts. Uh, so the first one I want to do is the Hulk. This is from Crisis Protocol. It is an Atomic Mass Games uh, piece. They're the ones that make it. I also bought the uh, the core set. So there's a whole bunch of other figures that I can put together and paint. So I'm really eager to get started. So let's get it. There are three sprues in the box for the kit. <clears throat> Uh, one of them obviously is the base, which is very well detailed. There's also a little bottle here and a, a cup here to add some more dimension to the base. And then the two main sprues are for the figure. Uh, there are several sub-assemblies and there is going to be some seams that need to be filled, some gaps and stuff. So I'm going to start cutting these apart and start putting these together. These sprues have uh, fairly large gates, which is what this is right here. This is a gate. So when you cut them, you do not want to cut them right up against the piece because you'll tear the plastic. You want to cut away and leave a nub. You want to leave the nub on there. So then you can come back with your X-Acto blade and you can cut that nub off and sand and you'll get a smooth finish. You get a smooth finish all the way around. And take some sandpaper, this is 320, and sand it. You keep sanding it until you get to where you can't see it anymore. Here's some of the sub-assemblies. I haven't glued anything yet. I've just cleaned everything with an exacto, a little bit of sandpaper but some pieces like most kits fit well and some don't so I'm going to have to go through each one to make sure that they fit the way they're supposed to and like I said there's there's going to be some some gaps and stuff now hopefully the glue I use will help with that but this, this doesn't fit all the way in there so that's the reason why it's not fitting correctly so some of this is going to have to be trimmed off off of this peg here so that it slides in a little more easily so I'm going to work on that a little bit and then I'll come back yeah, I've got one of the bottom parts of the legs here this piece actually fits together really well so what I'm going to do is take one of these little clamps. I don't know where I got these clamps. But I like to do the clamps because it'll hold it in place. And then I can just hold on to the clamp. And I'm going to take some plastic bonding. This literally melts the plastic to glue it. And get a little on the brush and then just run it down the seam line it works by capillary action so it gets down into the grooves and it'll dry in about 10 seconds a lot of times I'll once I get it together, I'll take the clamp off and then I'll squeeze it so it'll squeeze out some of that melted plastic, which when it's sanded down, then I won't have to do a whole lot more filling or anything. You can see where it's squeezing out. So I'm going to do the rest of the pieces and then I'll be back. All right, the way I sand these things, which you can see, a little bit of a line there from the seam. I take a needle file, these are just cheap needle files, you get like five different ones in a pack. And this is the round one. So I take it 
and I keep moving it around, sanding back and forth to get rid of that line. So once I get rid of that line, then what I'll do is I'll come in with some 320 sandpaper and I'll sand that, get it a little bit smoother. And then after I get it all done, I'll come back with my plastic structs, struck and then I'll go over it. It's like I have on this leg. So you can almost not see any seam line at all. Of course, once I get the primer on, then you'll definitely be able to see what you missed. So let me carry on and I'll be back. Here's a test fit. Uh, all the sub assemblies have been glued together. The, uh, the legs and the pants are still separate because I want to be able to paint the skin and the pants separate but with the arms on both sides there's a rocking back and forth so instead of just gluing it and then you know filling it with some putty whether it be epoxy putty or perfect plastic putty it looks to me like what's wrong is that there's high points right here and right here so I'm going to take, you know, exacto and some sandpaper and I'm going to knock those down a little bit to see if I can get these arms to fit better. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Alright, I got the arms on there, but I think I made it worse because I still have the gaps on the back here. But no worries, I'm just going to fix it with some Aves Epoxy Sculpt. And what I use is I use the fix it sculpt there's an A and there's a B you mix some even parts one to one and then I use the safety solvent to smooth everything out so let me get that all set up get a uh, little ball of A's ready to go and then I'll come back and we'll fill these gaps with some epoxy sculpt all right got a little ball of A's all mixed up ready to go so I'm just going to take a little piece, make a little sausage out of it. And I have some uh, like dental tool things. So we'll just start. It's actually too much. Just stick it in here. And I'll take the end of the tool here and just start forcing it down into the cracks now anytime it starts getting stuck to my tool I have a I have that solvent and I just dip the tool in that solvent Working it into the cracks. Take some of it off of here. Keep pulling off the, the excess. A little more solvent. Kind of start shaping it a little bit here. So 
So I've kind of got it where I want it. So now I want to take a uh, brush, get some of that solvent on the brush, and then start smoothing it out. This stuff does not shrink hardly at all. Alright, I want to work on this a little bit more and do the other side. And when I get it done, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Got the Aves all in there. Got it as smooth as I can get it uh, with the paintbrush. So now it's just a matter of letting it dry. It takes 24 hours to completely cure. So I'm going to let it cure overnight, then I'll sand and clean everything, put a coat of primer on there, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Got everything fixed. Got all the stuff on the back fixed, the back of the arms. And got uh, three or four coats of primer on everything, including the base. Nothing's glued, I just got them stuck on there with poster tack, so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Anyway, part two, we're going to get some color on this beast. So that's going to do it for part one. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you for part two.